everyone and welcome to Scrap Saturdays. I'm showing you a sketch that I'll be using today to help me out with the layout that I'm going to be creating. And this sketch was of my own idea and I just have a notebook that I usually do some doodling on. I'm choosing through those papers that you've seen when I first started the Summer Vibes series and I'm just trying to figure out what my base paper is going to be. And so that's what I usually do. I just kind of place the photos down and try to get a sense of what colors I want to bring through and plus I do <laughs> want to use up my papers and so I really like this anchor sheet of paper as well but I love the yellow one or the yellow base I don't even know what kind of shape that is it's kind of flowery-ish kind of not honeycomb-ish and I do love that I left the border strip on the other side just to bring in a little bit of color and that's kind of my fun little you know add a little more interest in technique and also have a different style base paper kind of feel like my eight and a half by eleven pattern papers always seem to be more unique just because I cut them up in a different way so don't be afraid to try that kind of style and you know go for it my photographs are I'm probably going to say three and a half by three and a half and I've cut them in that Polaroid style which I absolutely love it just it makes me giddy and so these the sketch that I had pulled out has sort of like a half page or um, some adding to it I don't even know I think I wrote down that I wanted to use some vellum to kind of mute one side if it was a very busy pattern paper but this I'm just using the reverse side so this is just the leftover paper that I have from cutting up my base paper into eight and a half by eleven and so that little pause that you saw there just before I grabbed this basil cardstock from the Scraptastic kit was I was just referencing my um, sketch because I was deciding whether or not I wanted to use vellum or if I really was going to go ahead and use the um, patterned paper. And here I, I don't cut it properly. I was supposed to cut at an 11 inch strip and I cut it at eight and a half um, instead. And so <laughs> it happens, you know, sometimes in the crafting world I'm sure we've all cut up a piece of paper and thought oh man that's not the right size so I'm gonna use my EK success border punch and it's just or maybe it's not EK success I'm not sure so sorry I have started to write down everything because I think this is the way we're gonna be going but you can look up my um, video my chit chat video that tells you what's new in store for September and that'll clarify a lot of stuff and this is my EK um, page border page punch that I really 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 love and so I'm just bringing a little bit of more interest to that little layering that I'm doing down to the side and it just you know it's light and it's it's easy because that page is so busy that border punch doesn't really overwhelm it too much and same with the basil I really like that dainty type I don't even know what that is either torn edge type um, border punch so it's just enough that it brings a little bit of interest but not too much that it causes the page to be overwhelming and so I'm just deciding whether or not I want to use that little piece of blue basil strip left over and it has such a beautiful shine to it it just adds so much to the layout and I don't even remember if it makes it in. I don't think it does. So wax paper for my letters and my thickers. And my title for today is going to be Hey Hey, because that's usually what my husband says. And so these are still photos from our vacation or our trip to Cuba for my 40th birthday. And I was just getting the kids to kind of have fun while I take pictures, because that's usually what I do. I'm usually the photographer for almost all of our you know family occasions and stuff like that and I don't mind I mean there are some times to be honest you know I tell you guys like it is I do feel like I wish people would take more photos for myself but I, I haven't found anyone who does who who really you know takes control of that and if people do they usually don't really share their photos with me either or I feel that I have to ask so 
I don't know. I'm, I'm taking photos for myself. So you kind of have to take responsibility. If you want something done, sadly, sometimes you have to do it yourself. And so I really love taking pictures. And, you know, my underwater camera may not have the best quality or the best clarity. I did upgrade my memory card for it, and I found that it did make a difference. And I really like the results um, this year with it. So, but sometimes if the lens does get splashed or something like that, it does leave that water bubble that I've showed you before. Right now I was just fixing that little bottom piece by adding a little bit of patterned paper. I know it doesn't completely match that strip, but visually, you know, when someone's flipping through my album, if they don't know, they won't realize that it's an added piece of paper. And it's only because the manufacturer words had uh, been left there because it's, that's just the way the paper went. But I, I realized, I thought, Whatever I do with this, I, I will cover it up. And so I'm just using some Summer Vibes 6x6 paper to try to bring in some layering behind my photo. And I settle on this beautiful turquoise with little baby flower piece. And I just think it kind of brings more of the turquoise from the ocean and whatnot. And I really liked it. It just anchored my two photos there instead of leaving them on top of the strips. It was too horizontal or vertical yeah <laughs> too vertical and I wanted to bring in some horizontal type flow to it so now it's time to start gluing things down I believe and I'm just gonna mark where I want this to start and stop and I rotate my paper so that it's easier for me to make a straight line and so you know that's a tip there I'm I really like my ATG for the thickness of the tape that I got I'm getting more used to it because it does glue a larger surface and I purposely left like a little tiny bit like a half inch border of that yellow background paper and I like it so much. Just cutting up the pieces there making it all tidy. And so yeah the photos that I'm using are just you know they're repetitive photos there are a lot of ocean photos but there's still a memory that I want to capture and I just finished printing out maybe another 50 photos and they're more land-based photos and they're also with my Canon camera so quite a different resolution and quite different photos that are going to be coming up shortly so a less mixture of you know just ocean ocean type beach photos I will have a lot of land photos as well so usually when we went out to dinner or something like that it was easier to carry around um, our larger camera and we didn't want it to get too sandy on the beach and stuff like that I'm gonna put these on an angle just because I like that kind of just laid down look where they're layering each other like as if I had fanned them out and then I'm, I love the effect of layering my title on top of my photos I really like that and these thickers of course you know don't need any extra glue which is such a positive to them I mean you we all love what the chipboard type thickers look like but it is extra work to come back with your Tombow and have to glue them down individually it just leaves so much more work to it and I think the faster I can get these layouts done the better it is for myself and for everyone else really because then I have more time to do anything else and I can get a whole you know summer vacation you know in a, a lot quicker than I would necessarily do and so here I'm using the Ellie's studio bits and pieces and I think it's called let's eat and I really like the quality of these tags they kind of remind me of I don't know the name of it now but different tags that I had used for a little while and, and I like it because the colors matched well with the collection and I know you're supposed to use them for eating or food type related but whenever you find something that has the right color don't hesitate just go right ahead and you can always cover other things by layering embellishments which I know you've seen from so many of the scrappers out there you know layering and making clusters of your own embellishments so if you do get something in your kits that you're not too sure how you're going to go about and how you're going to use them just layer a brad over a certain word or stamp something else on a piece of paper and layer on top of each other and it usually does turn out quite awesome but I really liked it I just kind of did you know the heart at the bottom it kind of blends into that paper and then I love everything about this um, tag on top of that and I thought it really really went well 
And I love the pinks and the turquoises in this. It's just awesome with a touch of navy blue instead of black or anything else to anchor it. Just phenomenal. And of course, you know, enamel dots. That's got to be like number two on my list of absolute favorite, favorite things. It's a close, it's close to my uh, um, flare badges, but enamel dots really, I don't know what it is. I just love it. <laughs> love what they do. So yeah, I have to get back into the swing of things of doing these voiceovers. I... Uh, I'm a little bit out of practice and this is my first one so you're going to have to forgive me for all my ums and like and yeah. <laughs> October afternoon with their tin pins. This one that says sun. Absolutely love the quality of these. I think I've mentioned it before when we were doing one of my live videos. I love that they already come pre-adhesived. <laughs> that they come with their own adhesive and the adhesive does have a little bit of lift to it. And it's not too much lift, like as if when I use my uh, square foam dots, it's perfect. It is the perfect amount of lift. So I have to say I love flare badges and these pre-adhesive ones or the ones that, are, that October Afternoon came out with are my favorite right now. Here I'm looking through a Scraptastic exclusive stamp set from the Summertime Rolls. This is their July kit, which I love. And I'm using, I was going to try to use the favorites with the chevrons on it, but it didn't fit in that um, um, tag at the bottom. So I just switched it out for the summertime, and it's the hollow words, so it's just the outline of it. Fabulous. And these stamps stamp like a dream. Beautiful. And, you know, I'm a very... Uh, careless type person with my stamps. I never wipe them down. I probably wipe them out down only when they get not sticky on my acrylic blocks and I know that sounds so horrible but it is my bad vice. I can't be perfect on everything. <laughs> that 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 is a joke. I'm kidding. I'm not perfect at all. I hate that. Perfect is boring. So then I go back and I do get to use that one that says favorites with the chevrons on the side and I absolutely love it. I love the way it turns out. So here I am with my Heidi Swap script date stamp which is another one of my favorites and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be inspired. Do what you see and have so much fun. You know cut up your papers and use the reverse side. It matches for a reason. It's supposed to make scrapbooking that much easier, faster and fun for you. Great big hugs to all of you and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon.